In today's video, we're checking out the Feidu FM40 UHF wireless microphone system. Let's get into it. Welcome back folks, this is Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. You're currently listening to the Feidu FM40 wireless microphone system. I'm using the lavalier microphone right now and I've got the transmitter clipped down on my belt here. And you don't have to use it with the lavalier microphone, you can simply use the microphone built into the transmitter. So it's very similar to that of the Ceremonic Blink 500 and also the Rode Wireless Go. Now, unlike a lot of other systems on the market, this runs on UHF, which is a little bit of an older technology, although it still has its advantages. Whereas digital will either be working or it won't, it'll just clearly cut out. UHF has a little bit more play in the signal, so even if the signal is not 100% there, you're still going to have some audio being transmitted. Another one of the best features about this pack is the fact it's as light as it is coming in at only 38 grams, which makes it perfect for vloggers or someone who wants to travel and still get great quality audio. Another one of the cool benefits of this particular system is the fact that you can set the volume on the transmitter and receiver accordingly, depending on your particular situation. So some people have really loud voices and some don't. So that means you can turn up or down the transmitter. And then on the camera side, you can adjust the volume level that side as well, which means you can control how much input gain is going into your camera, smartphone or action camera. Now, when it comes to battery life, you get between 3.5 hours and 5 hours. You get 5 hours on the receiver, which is doing less of the work, and the transmitter that's connected to me. You get roughly 3.5 hours, so they're not ideally matched like that, but the great news is you can charge them over any USB power brick or USB computer or anything. So you've got the flexibility there to charge them on the go if you need a little bit of extra juice. All right, up next, we're going to do a distance test, and we're going to see how well this works. I'm going to keep walking backwards. And if it cuts out or does anything weird, I'll leave some annotations on the screen. Now, one of the things I always like to do in these tests is to turn around away from the camera just to see if it responds as well, being that it's clipped onto the front of my jean pocket. So I'm just going to keep walking backwards like this. I'm going to keep turning around. They claim that it should get up between somewhere between 30 and 50 meters. So we're going to walk back. I'm already at least, I would say, 20 meters away from the camera, which if you triple that, about 60 feet away already. So this is still pure line of sight. And it also depends on the angle of the antenna, which I find interesting as well. So the receiver, if you have the antennas out and not sort of sort of curled back into the unit, I'll show you some overlays of that, you'll get better reception. So yeah, we're gonna see how well this works. And I am quite a ways back. I don't know if you can see me back here with the GoPro camera, but uh, the audio that you're listening to is going directly into the GoPro. I'm going to turn around as well and see if it works. Hopefully it still works. If not, I'll leave some annotations on screen. Now I am using a dead cat on my microphone right now, which isn't part of the pack, but it is quite windy out here. And I just wanted to put this on just to make sure that it was going to work fine. But you can easily get a third party, one of these dead cats, if you plan on using it outdoors, just to reduce that wind noise. It's really, really windy. So I'm tipping if you can't hear any wind noise, I might have fluked it. <laughs> One of the best things about this microphone pack is that it's so light, it can absolutely be used for vlogging. Now I'm just using my tripod instead of a selfie stick today, but you get the idea. It means I can basically even have the camera behind me and keep talking and the audio is gonna be picked up from the actual camera. This is so much better than a shotgun microphone in my opinion, just for the sake of convenience and getting really solid audio straight from your voice directly into the camera. Now being that this is a UHF pack over that of a 2.4 gigahertz pack, we do have some external antennas. These are kind of reminiscent of that of the old wireless guitar packs from back in the day. So it does require these antennas, but the good news is there's some holes that will allow you to recess the antennas on each of the unit. Or if you want optimum distance, you can then unravel them and point them up in any direction that works best for your particular system and for transmitting. So if you want the most optimum uh, length and distance when you're transmitting, put the receiver antennas out and same with the transmitter and you'll get some really great results as I showed you before. Or if you're traveling or if you don't need much of a distance, much like now, you can leave the antennas recessed and it will work fine as well. This next test will be a comparison between the Feidu FM40 and the Blink 500 from Saramonic. This is a UHF pack, as I mentioned before, Hopefully the audio is good. I had a quick listen to some of this and I think it sounds pretty great. Over to the digital pack. And now we're over to the Blink 500 wireless pack just as a point of audio comparison. 
Now I had to get out of the wind here just to do this next test, but we're checking out the Blink 500 onboard microphone as a point of comparison between the onboard microphone in just a minute of the FM40, and this is how that sounds. And this is the onboard audio to the Fadu FM40 wireless system. So this is the onboard microphone and not the shirt mic. Hopefully it's not picking up too much wind noise, but we'll see if it does as well and just how well it copes with that. Now in terms of the transmitter, you will also get the flexibility of using it with an external microphone or a line level input. So say you're going from something like a zoom recorder or some other mixer, you can then plug that into the transmitter and feed it to your camera. How cool is that? Now in terms of the on-screen display, I really love it. It just makes life a whole lot easier. One of the biggest criticisms I have of the Blink 500, as much as I personally love that pack and use it a lot, is the fact that there's no on-screen on display to let you know if it's actually paired properly. Now it's digital, so it works most of the time. I've never really had an issue with that at all, but it's just great to visibly be able to see if your actual unit is picking up the audio and how loud it is as well, because that's a key, you know, you never want to be let down by poor audio. So being able to visibly see that it's paired is a huge advantage. So what do I think about the build quality of these units? Now I'm going to mix this up maybe into two sections. In terms of just build quality for their price, they're built really well. I would have no problems relying on these if I was traveling. I feel like not only are they really lightweight, but they're built strong enough to, you know, be thrown in the bag and survive. But the only thing that concerns me is the extendable antennas to some extent. Now they can be retracted within the unit when you do travel, but you don't want to get them snagged on anything. That would be probably something that you wouldn't want to have happen. So I'm not saying they'll break if they do get snagged on something, but that's my biggest concern is just how well the antennas will stand up to a bit of abuse. So just be careful with the antennas. But as you saw in that distance test, man, they work extremely well. So after having a good listen back to the sound quality of the lavalier microphone, I can tell you one thing, it is a little bit brighter and hotter on the top end frequencies than any of my other lavalier microphone systems. This is easily corrected. And while it does sound nice and clear, even for my voice, which doesn't have a lot of sibilance normally, it sounded like it does. So you've probably noticed that throughout the video. Now that's easily corrected, bring down the treble frequencies and you should be good to go. One of the great things about this system is even though it's UHF, it has a fairly low noise floor. It's not quite as low though as a digital counterpart. So just keep that in mind. If your preamps on your camera are already really noisy, maybe the UHF system's not for you, but in most cases with any of my Panasonic cameras and even with the GoPro, which arguably has some of the worst preamps in the world, you should be good to go with most camera systems. But just food for thought, when I did pixel peep into the audio waveform, I noticed a clear difference between the digital and the UHF. So what are my final thoughts about the Fadu FM40 wireless system? Now, I was really surprised just how well it worked in line of sight in that distance test. It worked extremely well. I had a couple of small glitches, but I already know most of my digital wireless packs would have crapped themselves long before that. And I was a fair way further than I thought away from the camera too. So yeah, it worked really, really well in that type of situation. As I mentioned, the lavalier microphone is a little bit on the bright side, but that's nothing that you can't compensate with in editing just to reduce that top end. Or you can replace the microphone if you so choose. I even think the onboard microphone on the transmitter works extremely well. So that can get you out of a pinch or you can just use that indoors where you don't need a full lavalier system if you don't have issues with wind. I kind of wish they had have included one of these dead cats because it's extremely windy, windy out here today. And it's one of those situations where if I use the provided pop filter, uh, the audio would be a mess. So hopefully it's all good. And thanks again for watching. My name's Shane. I'll catch you soon.